What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your guy something something something. Hit the keys here with a quick tutorial to show you guys how to chop up some samples and NPC beats. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different ways. Um, so make sure if you guys like this content that you drop a whole elbow on that like button, you subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time we bring a new video, you can be the first to know. But let's go. Push. Some 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 hit the key. All right, so I've got uh, MPC beats pulled up already. I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into this hip hop uh, template. Uh, it's got some nice little, um, I guess it's got some nice plugins on the drums, so it makes them slap a little harder. I like that. Um, I want to send a shout out to my guy Frankie P Castle uh, for telling me about some flash sale at adsr on a producer master mega bundle it was like nine drum kits for nine dollars um that's part of why i got the inspiration to make this video um i recommend you guys check it out because it sales only going to be good for one day so if you see this video the day that i dropped get on the site and uh get the drum kits because it's nine of them and there's a whole bunch of different sounds in those kits um so what we're gonna do is in order to the easiest way to get your sample to be able to chop it up is to go ahead and hit this arrow um, so what you're going to want to do, I guess, to start is come down here to file browser. Um, you're going to want to hit the drop down menu. You're going to want to hit desktop and then you're going to want to find wherever you have your drum kits at. Uh, I have these just on the actual desktop uh, producer master bundle. Um, and then I'm going to go to this lo fi uh, beats because I found a little sample that I liked in there. Um, so I'm going to come to melody loops. I'm going to come down here to piano and then I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to drag it over here. And then after I drag it over there, I'm going to close this window down and it's going to be here for me. If I double click, left click on this, it'll take me right to the sampler. So you don't have to do anything else. All I have to do is double click on the sample from this left menu over here. Now, after you do that, you're going to have to hit chop. And so once you go to chop, now you're able to chop up this sample. So there's two ways to slice up the champ. Well, there's more than two ways. You can slice it up with a board. So if you have a board, you can just use your pads and slice it up. I'm not slicing it up with my pads today because I just was going to do it with the computer just because I know not everybody has a board. Um, I do want to say this. Um, sometimes you hear people talk smack because you make music from a computer, but don't let them get you down. Um, all music is is reaction to a sound. So playing a piano, the string, the noise that the piano makes is on just a reaction to a sound. Or I mean, just a reaction to an action. So the same with the piano. The noise that the piano makes, all it is is a reaction to an action. So when you're hitting keys in your keyboard and it's giving you a sound in your computer, the sound in your computer is a reaction to your action. So don't let nobody make you feel like you're less of a producer because you're using a computer to make beats or whatever it is. Because it does. It's all. It's all a reaction to an action that's all that music is sound is vibration that has to bounce off. it's also just a reaction um so how we're going to start by slicing these beats up is on this one i i'm going to push slice first um and what i like to do is after i push slice it's going to start going so that you can start slicing it up i use the four button and that's going to be right here so again remember four three two one with your pads and it goes all the way across r e w q F D S A C V I'm sorry V C X Z. So after I push slice, I'm gonna push four and I'm gonna slice it right before it hits, you know, the next before the wave gets big again, because that's where I wanna use for my um my chops. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push slice, or you can push Z. So that's the sample we're gonna use. Um, the reason I didn't finish chopping these up is because I wanted to show you another way to chop samples. So you'll see once you're in this uh, screen, there's a little arrow. And all you have to do is left click on the arrow and you can also chop up the, the samples that way. So it gives you a few different ways to chop the samples, which is neat, you know? And especially once you've been doing this for a while, you know where you're gonna chop because you're gonna chop right before um, the wave gets big. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to come over here to this arrow and we want to make the screen bigger 
because we want to chop the actual sample right before, um, you know, we don't want to leave this space right here. We want the chop to be instantaneously. So we want the chop to play as soon as we push the button. We don't want there to be any space in there. And again, after you've been doing this for a while, you'll know where, you know, you'll just know where you want to chop it. You'll listen to it and then you'll see the spaces. It's like math. You know, after a while, you knew four was two plus two because you, you did the math a whole bunch of times, you know? And you like how I said that backwards, huh? Aha. Trying to keep y'all on y'all's toes. All right. So now that I have all those ready to go, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tap all the buttons to make sure they go instantaneously. <laughs> You always want to test it out to see how it sounds too. You don't want to just trust your eye because sometimes you might be blinded by the light or something. I don't know. But uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go extract a new sample. So we're going to come down here and we're going to hit new program. And we're going to push do it. And so now all we have to do is um, basically go to the home screen. And if we tap this PVR melody, it's going to take us right into our chops. So now we're into our chops. <laughs> And you can see them all, and you can see them all right here. So now we're gonna go ahead, and uh, the melody for this is 120 uh, beats per measure, but I'm gonna make it 90 because I just want to make it like a kind of like a boom bap lo-fi-ish type beat. So we're gonna type 90 in there. We always want to make sure we come over here to bars and change this because if we don't change that, we'll be doing a two-bar loop, and then we'll be upset a few seconds later, and then we'll have to go back in and fix it. Um, so I suggest making that uh, right right away. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit record. All right, so then this is just basically what we're going to run with for the sample. So now I'm just going to grab some drums and put them underneath there real quick. I guess since, you know, we got a sample there, we might as well put some drums underneath so you can hear how it sounds. Um, but again, it's just that easy. It's that easy to chop up some samples. Um, and then all you got to do is put some chords of some shape underneath it or pad or something like that. Uh, you know, maybe some bird noises, some saturated tape noises in the background. So it sounds like it's a uh, lo-fi. I mean, you can do so much, you know. Uh, but we're just going to go back to that same uh, drum kit and we're going to go to the one shots. We'll find some kind of kick. I want to make sure that I have it on the right view because I'm just going to go to where the drums are at and I'm just going to drop it, drop it over here. So it's drag and drop like that. Now we need to find a clap. Code the first one. We we'll take this back to the beginning and we're just gonna hit record and then we're gonna get our drums in there.
um, now that I got, you know, the drums and the piano in there, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn down the levels on um, the piano just a little bit. And other things... Other things that you can do to even make it sound more um, piano issues that you, you know, or sample issues that you can go in and you can throw isotope vinyl or mishpi or tape cassette two on there. Um, and that'll give it more of a, you know, like an old vintage, a sampled sound. So we're going to grab this isotope vinyl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the warp depth up a little bit. I'm going to turn the wear up a little bit. And then I'm going to turn this amount up. And so you can see, you can hear the noise that the, uh, the plug-in already just makes itself. And that's just to give it um, the sound of like an old record playing. So do you hear that difference? But now if I throw this one there. Now it sounds like it's an old warp tape, but that's dope, you know, sounds good. Um, and so, you know, basically that's how you're going to chop a sample though, you know, and then you can put pads underneath. So if you want, you can. All right. So I adjust the levels a little bit. Um, and then this is basically what it sounds like, um, you know, just basically with that sample and some drums. So then again, if we just go in and we add some pads underneath, Lord knows, I don't know what this pad's gonna sound like. So hopefully this pad sounds good, because if it doesn't, uh, we're not making a full beat. I just wanted to show you guys how to uh, basically chop down samples and throw them into a beat. All right, so we're just gonna record that in there real quick. So that pad wasn't ideal, but it was just a stock pad. But that was, again, just to show you, you know, you can blend in your pads and that'll allow you to take out your sample at certain parts. Oh, I guess one last thing that I wanted to show you. So once you start building your patterns, so if you go ahead and, you know, you kind of don't know what you want to do next with your sample, um, you know, as you're building your sequences, um, copy, sequence, and we'll just call this one two. do it. Um, now, what you can do is you can just simply come in and just take stuff out. So I know it sounds so simple, but you can just come right into here and just take stuff out. <laughs> so, you know, you can take that out. You can take that out. You know, now you got your, you know, basically your bridge and you can just take out certain parts.
But you know, once you start taking out certain elements and taking out different elements, I'm sorry. Once you start taking out certain elements and adding certain elements, now you got changes up in your beat. It's really simple. And then there were still other keys and stuff that I didn't play with. Because again, I just wanted to show you guys how to chop the samples um, a few different ways. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you guys got something out of this today. Um, if you guys did, make sure you like, you subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And we'll be back with another one. Peace. All right, guys and gals. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.